History with no chaser. What up? I want to talk about, um, were you aware that Huey P. Newton taught himself how to read? Um, so did Malcolm. Malcolm did also. Um, I also did. I did myself in no way, shape or form. Am I comparing myself to those brothers? I'm just factually speaking that, um, I also taught myself how to read. And, um, now today I, I'm reading 40, 40 to 40 plus books a year. Um, and I get to teach history to you all, but you know, with, with my story, you know, I was, a, it was more my fault. I was a knucklehead during school and stuff like that. So, you know, um, but I was a grown man, a grown man, you know, in my early twenties and I did not know how to read or I can like barely read, like, you know, just barely pronounce certain words, you know, but anyway, Huey P. Newton, uh, he was a knucklehead also, um, early on doing a lot of, uh, you know, committing crimes, doing a lot of, a lot of silly stuff early on. But, you know, I want to speak about the importance of being self-taught. The importance of being self-taught because when you're self-taught, nobody can mislead you. Nobody can mislead you. Nobody can feed you garbage. Nobody can tell you a bunch of nonsense and, um, you know, and you just, and you just run with whatever they tell you. Because when you self-taught, you know better, you have your own direction. Let me tell you what Huey did. Huey was, um, you know, Huey started studying the law. He started uh, 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 purchasing law books and, you know, all kind of stuff. And this is how he was able to, to outbeat them cops all the time. This, this is how he was able to get out of, get out of, uh, uh, um, beat charges and, 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 you know, get out of certain crimes and stuff like that, or, or certain alleged crimes. Um, Huey used to ride around with law books in his car, like literally law books in his car. He used to ride around like that. Um, you know, in, in 1967, the Mulford Act, is it Mulford? Mulford, I think it's, I don't know if it's M-U-L-F-O-R-D or M-I-L. I can't remember. Um, of course, if I was doing a video about it, I have all my notes and, you know, dot my eyes across the T's. But I believe it was the Mulford Act of uh, 1967. That's, that's the act you know, the Congress put in place to, to prevent the Panthers from carrying guns because Huey was able to find all the loopholes in order for them to walk around carrying guns. Like, and it was powerful, man. It was, it, uh, the Panthers were such a powerful movement in the beginning. Um, but yeah. And, and, and that was, that was all due to Huey. Like everything that they was, that they were able to do is because Huey studied that stuff, man. Huey, Huey, Huey also earned himself a PhD. A lot of people don't talk about that. Um, yeah, that, that brother, he, he, he did that. He did that. Go look that up. Um, go look that up and go check out. I, I have about five videos I made on Huey. They're all in the playlist. Go to, go to the page, check those videos out. Um, it's just, you know, being self-taught is powerful, man. Nobody can manipulate you. Nobody can mislead you. Um, doing your own research, your own research, your research, even anything that I teach you. This is why I always do. Anybody who follows me, they know I provide book references or other references. They People who rock, rock with the channel, you already know that. Um, I say it all the time and I, can't, I cannot say it enough. Do not rely on Google and Wikipedia and all that crap to be your, your, your end all be all of research. And um, if even even if I teach you something, if I say something, I'm going to point you in the right direction. Um, and if I didn't, you can ask people. You can email me. You can inbox. You can do whatever. Um, I respond. So. You know. Any 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 time information is brought to you or some information you don't understand, some information that you may have questions about, always do your research. Always, always, always. Me, myself, if you follow me, I've debunked Google, Wikipedia, all that crap. I've, I've debunked that stuff so many times. They got stuff on Google and Wikipedia. Like people ask me about, um, you know, a lot of people, they, they love the Harlem stories. Uh, if you haven't watched the Harlem stories, go and check those out. Uh, they're all in the playlist. So, you know, and during the Bumpy Johnson era, that, that early Harlem era, um, 
you know, people were asking me about a character name, not a character, a man named Bub Hewlett. And I spoke about how the movie Hoodlum had Bub Hewlett as some type of flunky, some uh, a punk. Uh, Bub Hewlett was far from that. He Bub was the one who who really showed Bumpy how to be Bumpy. Um, and Bub was his man, you know, but go watch those videos. I don't want to tell you too much. Go watch the videos. So, but people were asking me about him because I think on in Wikipedia, they said, they, it says that Bub Hewlett is a fictional character. That's BS. This man has living, breathing relatives right now today. His daughter ran the biggest adoption agency in New York. But they tell you, but if you, if you look him up on Wikipedia, it tells you that he's a he's a fictional character, a fictional character. And you even have some of these YouTubes that talk about fictional characters and all this not this stuff. And it's it's do your own research, man. Do your own research. Um, even some of these YouTubers, some of these supposed, uh, you know, to be historian YouTubers, they put out a lot of a lot of false information. Um, do your research. I, only thing I'm going to say about me. Anything that I put out there, follow it up yourself. Do your own research. I, I encourage you to do your own research because um, I don't put anything out that's inaccurate. Do do your research. If I did, if I if I if I put out all this inaccurate information, I wouldn't be encouraging people so much to do their own research. I wouldn't be telling people go read the, go read these books. Look, this is where you go get this information. I wouldn't do that as as often as, as I do. Uh, but you pay attention to some of these other channels, they never sh uh, tell you their references. There's a reason for that. They don't tell you their references. Um, so, but yeah, but check that out. Uh, check out those videos on Huey. Definitely check those out because I don't even want to give y'all too much information. Um, I'm going to start doing more videos like this, you know, giving you a little bit of info so y'all can go back and watch the videos where I really unpack a lot of this stuff because it's it's good content. And me and my brother, we work hard on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, like I said I, and I always got to give him his flowers. I, I do all the reading research. I come up with a story. I send him my story, the audio. Everything that you see in the video is, that's all my brother. He is definitely 50% of history with no chase, chaser. I can't do it without him. He's even done a couple of videos himself where where he did his research um, on some of those, those um, on this day videos, whenever you see the OTD, that's nine times out of 10, that's that's gonna be him. Um, so those those are his videos with his research, but even with him, thorough, everything we do thorough over here. But uh, go check those videos out, go to those playlists, and I have to update some of the playlists um, even more. Um, got more stuff coming, got merchandise coming, got different videos coming. Hope y'all checked out that video about uh, Fritz, um got part two coming gonna be a lot more active on the channel um had some scheduling issues and just a lot of stuff going on but um you'll definitely see part two of of that fritz story um so got more stuff coming i appreciate each and every one of y'all i'll get it y'all later